stores that there's value for money. The financing that the World Bank provides is, is a loan. It's a highly concessional loan, but it is still a loan that Nigeria will have to pay back over a number of years. So part of what we try to do is we're working closely with government partners, but also with civil society and other stakeholders, ensure that these programs are well implemented, that the funds are used for the purposes that they were intended, and that the communities and then the final beneficiaries, intended beneficiaries, do actually see the value of how these funds are spent. All right, so the World Bank has strongly advocated for fuel subsidy removal. Now that it has been done, Nigerians are beginning to feel the pinch, or are feeling the pinch, with high rising costs leading to more suffering. Don't you think this is counterintuitive in the sense that the poor don't seem to be benefiting from this action? So, you're absolutely right that there has been pain, that Nigerians, ordinary Nigerians, are seeing prices go up, transport prices up, you know, if you're trying to get to work from one of the satellite towns around Abuja, the price of commuting every day has probably doubled, if not tripled. Uh, so certainly there has been a pain. The basic point to remember, though, is that this pain was necessary as a part of almost like an emergency surgery to stop the hemorrhaging of the Federation's finances. Funds, 400 billion naira per month, that could have been used for primary health care, that could have been used for basic education, for just to ensure law and order and security all around the country, was instead being used to finance something that where the benefits were mostly being realized by the rich or across the borders. So undoubtedly, in the short term, there has been and will be pain.